Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalitna here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x squared plus 1 into dy by dx plus 4xy equal to 1 by x squared plus 1 using variation of parameters method. We are given a differential equation of order 1, right? Given differential equation. x squared plus 1 into dy by dx plus 4xy equal to 1 by x squared plus 1. Consider the given equation as equation 1. Now let's write the homogeneous form of equation 1 or homogeneous equation of 1. The homogeneous equation of 1 is x squared plus 1 into dy by dx plus 4xy equal to 0. Consider it as equation 2. Now we are going to find the solution of equation 2 and using the solution of equation 2 we will find the general solution of equation 1. Now Let's make the quotient of dy by dx to unity. In order to write equation 2 in standard form, we are going to make the quotient of dy by dx to unity, right? For that purpose, we'll divide both sides of the equation with x squared plus 1. Then we'll get dy by dx plus 4xy by x squared plus 1 equal to 0, right? Because 0 by x squared plus 1 is 0. Fine. Let's now separate the variables by taking the second term to RHS. Then dy by dx equals to minus 4xy by x squared plus 1. Now I'll take the differential dx to RHS and I'll bring this y to LHS. Then I'll get 1 by y dy equal to minus 4x by x squared plus 1 into dx or we can write it as we'll just bring this term to LHS we'll get 4x by x squared plus 1 into dx plus 1 by y dy equal to 0 so here the variables are separable here itself the variables are separable Since the variables are separable, we can perform integration. Integral 4x by x squared plus 1 into dx plus integral 1 by y dy equal to 0. Since we know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x right? If f of x equals to x squared plus 1, just consider the integrand of the first integral. If f of x equals to x squared plus 1, then f dash of x is derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x plus derivative of constant with respect to x is 0, which is equal to 2x, right? So we can write 4x as 2 times 2x in order to apply this formula. Now I'll take this to outside the integral, then I'll get 2 integral 2x by x squared plus 1 into dx plus integral 1 by y dy equal to 0, right? Now, the integrand is of the form integral, I mean integrand is of the form f dash of x, 2x by f of x, x squared plus 1, right? So this is of integral f dash of x by f of x into dx form. So we can write it as log mod x squared plus 1 plus and also we know that integral 1 by x dx equals to log mod x. So we'll get plus 
log mod y equal to some integral constant say since it is a equation of order one so we'll get one constant in the final i mean arbitrary constant in the final general solution so i'm going to take a constant say c1 and i can write this c1 as log c1 okay and i'll write it as 2 log of x square plus 1 plus log y equal to i'm going to write the constant as log c1 since we know that m log n equal to log n power m then we can write 2 log x square plus 1 as log x square plus 1 whole square plus log y equal to log c1 right since we know that log a plus log b equal to log a b now we can apply this here then we'll get log a x square plus 1 whole square into y equal to log c1 right and since we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b again by applying this we'll get a equal to b that is x square plus 1 whole square into y equal to c1 okay now i'm going to take this term to rhs then i'll get y equal to c1 by x square plus 1 whole square okay therefore y equal to c1 by x square plus 1 whole square is the solution of our homogeneous equation equation 2 now using this equation i mean the, using the solution of homogeneous equation we'll write the general solution or we'll get the general solution of our given equation equation 1 let y equal to now just replace the constant or parameter with function of x a a okay be the general solution of 1 where a is a function of x right let's now find y dash we have y equals to a by x square plus 1 whole square then y dash equals to a by x square plus 1 whole square whole dash right so here we are going to apply u by v whole dash formula which is equals to u dash v minus v dash u by v square right this gives we can write y dash as dy by dx right this equals to u dash that is a dash into v minus v dash x square plus 1 whole square whole dash into u by v square x square plus 1 whole square that is v square this gives us let's now find the derivative of x square plus 1 whole square okay x square plus 1 whole square derivative of x square plus 1 whole square is 2 times x square plus 1 2 x square plus 1 into inner derivative derivative of x square plus 1 this gives 2 times x square plus 1 into derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 which is equals to 2 times x square plus 1 into 2x 
right? Which is equal to two to the four x square plus one into x, right? Now we can replace this derivative with four times x square plus one whole into x since x square plus one whole square derivative is four times x square plus one into x, right? Now this gives this gives dy by dx equals to a dash into x square plus one whole square minus derivative of x square plus one whole square is four times x square plus one into x into a by x square plus one. We know that a power m whole power n equal to a power m into n, right? So x square plus one whole square whole square is two to the four. Okay, x square plus one whole square raised to the power two is x square plus one power four. This gives us a dash x square plus one whole square minus. Okay, we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split this into two terms. So we'll get a dash of x square plus one whole square by x square plus one whole power four. Minus 4x a into x square plus 1 by x square plus 1 whole power 4, right? So here 2x square plus 1 gets cancelled, so we'll get 1 by x square plus 1, or x square plus 1 whole square gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator, right? Is equals to 4x a into here 1x square plus 1 gets cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. We'll get 1 by x square plus 1 whole cube. Here we'll get square. Therefore, dy by dx equals to a dash into 1 by x square plus 1 whole square minus 4 a x into 1 by x square plus 1 whole cube. We have y equal to a by x square plus 1 whole square and dy by dx equals to a dash. One by x square plus one whole square minus four a x into one by x square plus one whole cube. Right? Let's now substitute these two in equation one. Since y equal to a by x square plus one whole square is considered as general solution, which is nothing but a solution of equation one. So it is nothing but y satisfies equation one, right? So we can substitute y and dy by dx in equation one. Let's substitute. Y and dy by dx in one. We have one. X square plus one into dy by dx plus four xy equal to one by x square plus one. Now let's substitute dy by dx and y here. We'll get x square plus one into dy by dx is a dash into one by x square plus one whole square minus four a x into one by x square plus one. Whole cube plus 4x into y is a by x square plus 1 whole square equal to 1 by x square plus 1. Right? This gives a dash x square plus 1 by x square plus 1 whole square minus 4 ax into 
एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन बाय एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन होल क्यूब प्लस फोर ए एक्स बाय एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू वन बाय एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन So one x square plus one gets cancelled from the first term, from the second term also. Then we'll get a dash one by x square plus one minus four a x into one by x square plus one whole square plus four a x. The third term remains the same. By two x square plus one whole square equal to one by x square plus one, right? Here minus four x into one by x square plus one whole square plus four x by x square plus one whole square gets cancelled, or we can just write this term as minus four x by x square plus one whole square. Plus four ax by x square plus one whole square equal to one by x square plus one, right? So here minus four ax by x square plus one whole square and plus four ax by x square plus one whole square gets cancelled. We'll get right from this we'll get a dash equals to one, right? Or okay, these two gets cancelled, or you can cancel here itself. Therefore, then a dash equals to one. Therefore, a dash equals to one. Okay, you can cancel here. Or you can just write directly a dash equals to one instead of cancelling the two terms. I mean, the fractions. Fine. Now we got a dash. Let's find a from a dash. We have a dash equals to one, right? A dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x since a is a function of x. Now we can take the differential dx to RHS. We'll get dA equal to dx. Here the variables are separable. We can perform integration. Integral dA equal to integral dx. From this we'll get a equal to x plus some integral constant, say c1. Right? Therefore. A equal to x plus c1. We got a. Let's now write the general solution using y equals to a by x square plus one whole square. Therefore, the general solution of one is given by. Y equal to see already we have used C one right? Let's take C here. Y equal to x plus C by x square plus one whole square or Y into x square plus one whole square equals to x plus c, or x square plus one whole square into y equal to x plus c. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from variation of parameters in this video. I hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.